A very good morning, uh, RKPians. Uh, this is Benu Sarawat, and I welcome you all to RKP online classes. So uh, today we'll start with uh, lesson four, looking back at life, which has been written by Ruskin Bond. Now Ruskin Bond is one of the greatest uh, writers, right? And uh, he is an Indian writer of uh, British uh, uh, descent, of course, and he lives in Masuri. And uh, he has been awarded with uh, many awards. He won Sahitya Academy Award, uh, Padma Shri, and uh, even Padma Vibhushan, right? So uh, let's see what uh, uh, the writer has in this lesson for us, okay? So let's start with the lesson. Uh, so uh, first, uh, they have given us uh, five uh, books. Okay, and we have to tell whether uh, the given books are autobiographies uh, or um, or a simple novel or book. Okay, so first of all, I would like to tell you what is an autobiography. So, beta, when somebody writes about his own life, okay, that piece of writing is called autobiography, right? And uh, with this, I would also like to tell you what is a biography. Now suppose uh, somebody is uh, inspired by Gandhiji's life and he decides to write a book on that. So that piece of writing will be called biography. Okay. So uh, first is uh, the diary of a young girl. Okay. So this is uh, an autobiography which has been written by Anne Frank. Okay. And uh, second is Wings of Fire which is again uh, an autobiography written by uh, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Azhar. Uh, next is Little Women. Uh, that is uh, not an autobiography, that is a novel, which is uh, written by Louisa May. Okay. Next is Boy, Tales of Childhood. Again, that is not an autobiography, that is a book which has been written by Ronald Dunn. And next is Treasure Island which is a novel and written by Robert Lewis. Now, Bitter, uh, if we talk about Rob, uh, Ruskin Bond as a writer, so he has a very unique uh, style of writing and he gives us very uh, comprehensive details of the surroundings, okay, which you will discover now as we proceed further in the lesson. So let's start with the lesson. And before we start, I would like to suggest to you that you keep a notebook and pen with you all the time because there will be uh, difficult words, new words that will come through, okay? Uh, and uh, it's always a good idea to note down those new words so uh, uh, that later on you can have a quick revision of the words and you know that uh, 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 those words will come in your active vocabulary that you can use okay all right then uh, my tiny barsati opened uh, on to the flat concrete of the building there was no other construction on the roof and a flight of stone steps ran up to it on the outside of the building so it was quite private now Peter, in this lesson it is uh, kind of an autobiography only and Ruskin Bond uh, has given us some glimpses of his life okay so now he has given us the description uh, where he was living okay at this particular time so he's saying my tiny barsati tiny means small and barsati is uh, a room which is made on the rooftop okay so it uh, opened on the flat concrete of the building so it was on the top uh, on the roof and there was nothing else only a single room in which Ruskin Bond was living okay that was his room and uh, uh, there a flight of stone steps stone steps means stairs okay there were stairs to reach the room but that was from outside of the building okay not from inside so it was quite private okay um, not everybody uh, had the access to uh, reach the room 
all right i lived more or less independent of my family i saw them two or uh, three times a day when i went down for my meals now he's saying a uh, bit of more or less we use this uh, expression when we are not uh, um, uh, we do not know the exact number of something okay when we are talking uh, in uh, like approximately of something right we do not know the exact number so he is saying uh, i was usually independent okay and his family he used to meet them and see them of course uh, twice or thrice a day of course uh, for during the meal times basically uh, all right my steps were steep and the people seldom came to see me the exceptions being the boys of the neighborhood somi haripal krishna and ranbir being the friendliest of them now uh, he is saying the stairs uh, which used to come to his room they were not comfortable to you know step on so that was also one reason that people seldom seldom rarely they used to come they rarely used to come there okay and except the four boys okay who were uh, ruskin bonds friends right but they came later in the beginning there were only the women who came to sweep the room and uh, several visitors who were not of the human kind now he is saying but the boys also they came later okay later means that means somebody else used to come there before the boys so who was that the lady the domestic help who used to come there to clean the room to sweep means to broom the room okay to clean the room and he also uh, tells us that there were several visitors who were not of human kind what does that mean that means they were not human beings it may be birds it may be animals it may be insects but not human beings right there were uh, there was a banyan tree just opposite okay opposite squirrels were busy in it all afternoon turn the page now please sparrows crows and other birds in the morning and evening and flying foxes at night this was the first time i'd had a room with a view all to myself and i think this was when i really began responding to the sights smells colors and everyday theater of world around me okay now he is telling us that there used to come sparrows and birds right and uh, in morning and evening of course they used to come and they they chirp okay and flying foxes at night flying foxes is better that is a species of bats only okay so they used to come at night and uh, ruskin bond says that it was the first time uh that he got such an amazing view and all for himself right and that was the time he actually became aware of his surroundings okay what all uh, was going on there in the nature okay and he says every day theater every day theater means whatever was going on what all activities were uh, you know uh, being done by different kind of creatures which are there in the nature so that's why he has used this expression every day theater for them okay a broad path ran beside the building which wasn't very busy but the activity on it was always interesting a box wala with a tin trunk on his head selling everything from bread and biscuits from the bakeries to hair oil safety pins and elastic for pajamas uh, so he says there was a broad broad means broad broad path beside the uh, building okay and it wasn't cemented and he says uh, it wasn't used by many people okay but there but it was still interesting because there used to uh, come few uh, people about which he will uh, he is uh, telling us now so there was a box wala okay uh, with a tin trunk on his head 
okay there was a box wala who used to come there to sell different things right and that's why he was called box wala because he had a tin trunk on his head okay and then uh, there was an aya with a baby in a pram the rent collector with the teeth and nostrils of a horse the postman on his brand new uh, atlas cycle the fruit seller calling his wares in high pitched uh, rather eccentric cries a line of school girls with red ribbons in their pigtails now he is telling us there used to come an aya also aya is uh, a maid a domestic help help with a baby in a pram pram is a bit of uh, that is a trolley in which we make uh, an infant or a toddler sit okay and uh, there used to come a rent collector okay who used to be always in hurry and then there used to come a postman also on his new atlas cycle and a fruit seller and fruit seller what is so unique about him he used to uh, call uh, used to call his wares and of course and in a very high pitched volume high pitch when you shout very loudly and ruskin bonds ruskin bond finds it very strange okay and then he says there was a, a group of school girls also who used to uh, pass from that path and pigtails pigtails is the the uh, the pleated braid that the girls make okay when it rained there was a greater activity at the last rumblings women would rush outside to bring in the washing okay now he is saying when it used to rain there was a greater activity greater activity means more than which it used to be earlier what it used to be earlier okay so he says at the first rumblings you must have noticed when it uh, it is about to rain first it rumbles rumbles is uh, the sound that we hear uh, okay of thunder right so he says when it used to rumble the ladies of the house they used to rush outside why because to bring in their washings washing means whatever is being washed what is washed and it is uh, lying there outside so they used to rush to bring that inside okay and uh, if there was a strong breeze okay to chase a few garments across the compound now beta suppose there is strong breeze what happens if our uh, we have uh, hung our uh, clothes um, hang our clothes there outside and strong breeze comes so it will fly away the clothes with it so women used to rush and they used to chase the garments chase means to follow okay to follow something when the rain came it came with a vengeance making a muddy river of the path okay and when it used to rain there used to be the 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 path which was beside the building it used to turn into a muddy river of course because because it wasn't cemented right so a cyclist would come riding furiously down the path so a cyclist the per, the people who are on who are riding the bicycle they will try to cross the path furiously furiously means very fast in hurriedly so that they don't lose the balance right an elderly gentleman would be having difficulty with a large umbrella now suppose if uh, there is an old uh, person of course he will find it difficult to you know pass that uh, uh, path because he has the umbrella also in his hand so it used to uh, be little difficult for them naked children would be frisking about in the downpour downpour is the water which is collected there due to rain okay and of course we have seen the children uh, few children they they just enjoy the rainy season they just take out their clothes and they just run uh, into the rain to enjoy themselves okay now we will uh, focus on this thing frisking about frisking about frisk about is the phrasal verb here okay which means to dance okay so uh, we'll proceed further in the next
for video. Thank you so much.